been venturing into space since October 4th of 1957. That is when the USSR launched Sputnik into space, which was the first artificial satellite to orbit Earth. Only a couple years later, the Soviet Union successfully launched the first human into space. Then in 1969, the first man landed on the moon. But what if all that never happened? What if we never made it to space? How would it affect life as we know it? Well, that's what I'm going to be discussing only in today's video. For starters, a lot of people argue that humans did not evolve to go to space. It's true, we didn't. And the effects that space has on astronauts are nasty. They risk their lives by going up there. And when they return to Earth, they suffer tremendous mental and physical pain. In fact, on Earth, we are constantly working our muscles by pushing back on gravity. In space, that doesn't apply. A study of 13 International Space Station astronauts found that their bone strength dropped 14% after going into space. That's about the same bone strength as an elderly woman with osteoporosis. And that happened within about 6 months in space, which is terrifying. Some astronauts when they return to Earth, they deal with skinny leg syndrome, which is basically their legs look super skinny because in space, there was no gravity to help them move the blood downwards to their legs. They have to suffer with this for months before it returns back to semi-normal. So why risk all of this? Well, if we never made it to space, a number of things wouldn't have happened. For starters, you know that device that you carry with you everywhere, maybe you're using it now to watch this video, you know, your camera phone. Well, believe it or not, in the 1990s, a team on the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, aka JPL, worked to create cameras small enough to fit on a spacecraft and with scientific quality. To this day, all cameras still contain this technology. Of course, if the JPL didn't discover this, maybe another company would have created it. But it sure put us in the right direction for camera phones. Next, we have scratch resistant lenses. Theodore Wydeven, a NASA scientist, discovered a coating that was very tough. Later, it was used as a coating to put on plastic lenses and space helmets to make them scratch resistant. And most lenses still use this today. Next up, believe it or not, we have CAT scans. Again, the JPL played a very important role in creating CAT scans. And then we have athletic shoes, which believe it or not, Nike Air trainers wouldn't exist today if it weren't for suit construction technology developed by NASA. In fact, it was a former NASA engineer that first pitched the idea. How cool, right? But any Nike sneaker lovers would suffer from this one. Furthermore, without space programs, we wouldn't have GPS, accurate weather prediction, solar cells, or the ultraviolet filters in sunglasses and cameras. Not only that, but there is medical research happening in space that is aiming to cure diseases and prolong human lives. According to NASA, these experiments can't be done on Earth. So in the end, space exploration might help save our lives. Now I could go on and on about things that were discovered or made for space travel that if we didn't travel to space, we wouldn't have today. But I think you get the idea. Space travel was the stepping stone for a number of our everyday essentials. But then we have the people that argue that there are bigger problems to solve on Earth than discovering what's out there in our solar system. But there are a number of reasons as to why we desperately need space exploration. For starters, space is filled with massive asteroids and comets that could hurl down towards Earth and cause one big mass extinction. Sound familiar? Anyways, with our advancements in space, we have been able to study these massive space rocks and track their paths. With this, we have hope of deflecting these objects. Not only that, but space experts argue that colonization is the ultimate backup. Which I know sounds silly, but hear me out. There are over 7 billion humans on Earth. And although it seems like humans control Earth, that is false. We easily could be wiped out. So scientists want to colonize other areas in space as a backup to preserve the human race. That way we will be able to survive no matter what happens to Earth. Then we have space mining. Right now, we are putting a huge strain on our natural resources. With overconsumption on the rise, we are headed in a very bad direction. Here is a quote from tech writer Ryan Whitwam. 
and I quote, The extraction of valuable minerals has led to a host of problems, including environmental damage and human exploitation. But there's a wealth of precious materials in space. Startups like Planetary Resources want to mine asteroids instead of Earth, which would mean an effectively unlimited supply of raw materials that are rare on Earth. End quote. But this wouldn't have happened if we never made it to space, so we'll just continue depleting our natural resources. Now let's shift gears for a second. Here is something I find pretty fascinating. A new study from Space Physics argues that the edges of the atmosphere actually extend more than 391,000 miles from Earth's surface, which is about twice as far as our moon. They concluded this after collecting data on it for the last millennia. This completely redefines the boundaries of Earth, meaning humans have yet to leave the Earth's atmosphere. Crazy, right? Makes you rethink everything. If this is the case, then we technically have never made it past Earth. But that's just some food for thought. I feel like a whole other video needs to be done on that. Back to the main topic. What if we never made it to space? Well, during all the trials of trying to launch humans into space, a number of tragedies took place. Some astronauts died upon takeoff and didn't even make it to space. Others made it to space but died upon re-entry. For example, Apollo 1. On January 27th of 1967, a fire took the lives of three astronauts during a launch rehearsal test. A damaged wire was the cause of this fire, and then a spark in the spacecraft ignited a flame. The high pressure pure oxygen environment was the perfect catalyst for a fire to start. Then the foam pads and nylon netting added fuel to the fire. The poor astronauts struggled to get out and ended up perishing in the flames. And then we have the Challenger. On January 28th of 1986, the Space Shuttle Challenger broke apart during the flight. It happened only 73 seconds into the flight. This resulted in the death of all seven crew members on board. The crew consisted of five NASA astronauts and two payload specialists. Or what about the Soyuz 11? On June 6, 1971, three Soviet cosmonauts launched into space. Sadly, the mission failed and they became the first people to die in space. The list of people losing their lives to space exploration goes on and on. It even includes the animals sent up to space as test subjects too. If we never did this, these people and animals wouldn't have lost their lives. I think the biggest takeaway from this is seeing how much space exploration and travel has actually done for us. It has given us a wealth of knowledge. It has helped us create inventions that we still use on the daily. And it's preparing us for the future. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. If you want to see more space related content or more videos like this in general, then let me know in the comments below. And while you're down there, smash that like button, obviously, subscribe to our channel. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye.